Hello! This video will introduce you to the external recommender functionality of Inception. As you may have already seen in episode 3 of our tutorial series, recommenders are a great tool to simplify and speed up your annotation process by suggesting annotations. Therefore, Inception provides ready-to-use built-in recommenders. But what if you want to use additional recommenders written in Python? Then this tutorial is for you, explaining an easy and uncomplicated way to incorporate commonly used models like classifiers from Spacey, Scikit-Learn or even adapter-based classifiers as well as your own models, which can then even be trained directly from within Inception. Furthermore, because of Inception's REST API, this is in general also possible with models written in any programming language, as long as they have an UEMA implementation. But in this tutorial, we will focus on incorporating Python models. Okay, so how does this work? We provide a Jupyter notebook to show you how to connect the external recommenders written in Python to Inception. Please keep in mind that while using such a notebook is great for showing you how to use the external recommenders in a simple way, the notebook should not be used in production. Okay, let's start. You can find a link to our Inception external recommender GitHub repository in the description of this video. Clone the repository, then start Jupyter Notebook and open the file tutorial.ipynb. In the notebook, we install the required packages and download the English Spacey model by clicking on the first code cell and running it with Shift and Enter. This might take a while. When it is finished, we continue with importing the needed classes. We first start with importing the server class of Ariadne. This is the library to run and implement external recommenders for Inception using Python. So just click on the cell and run it by pressing Shift and Enter. As mentioned previously, we provide multiple ready-to-use recommenders. Like, for example, models from Spacey or Scikit-Learn, or even adapter-based models. A full overview of them can be found in the README of our GitHub repository, linked here. In this tutorial, we will go through an example on how to start a server with two recommenders. One for named entities, and one for parts of speech tagging. They both use Spacey, and are not trainable. To be able to use them, we need to import both of them from Ariadne's contrib module, as done in this cell. So we click on it and run it with Shift and Enter. Now we are ready to create a server and add our classifiers. Therefore, we need to provide a name, like for example NUR here, and an initialized classifier object for each recommender we want to add. Here we chose to use the Spacey named Entity Recognition Classifier, as well as Spacey Part of Speech Classifier, both for English. Again, click on the cell and press Shift plus Enter to run it. Maybe you want to add more classifiers. Just import the corresponding classifier objects and add them like in this example. If you added all classifiers you want to use, we can start the server by pressing Shift and Enter again in the next code cell. An important thing to keep in mind is that if you change code in this notebook after you started the server, it is not enough to only rerun this cell. You need to restart the whole kernel. This can be done by clicking on Kernel in the menu at the top and then choosing Restart and Run All. So now we have our recommendation server running and can add them to our Inception projects.
For this, it is important to keep in mind that the recommenders are reachable on the those URLs. This one is for named entity recognition and this one is for part of speech tagging. At least if we run the notebook on the same server as Inception. Otherwise, we would of course need to replace localhost with the address of the server. Ok, so let's open Inception. We have an example project for external recommenders on our homepage. You can find a link in the description of this video. I will use this example project for the tutorial here. So you open this project and go to its settings page. There we choose the tab recommenders. In the external recommender example project there are already two predefined recommenders. One for part of speech tagging and one for named entity recognition. Of course it is also possible to create a new one by clicking on the button create. Then you need to choose the according layer. If we want to use named entity recognition, we choose named entity. Then we choose the according feature, in this case value. And afterwards choose remote classifier as tool. Then we can add the remote URL. Afterwards we just need to make sure our recommender is enabled and can then save it by clicking the button up there. If you want to use one of the predefined recommenders of the example project, keep in mind that you need to enable them first and also might have to change the remote URL. Now we can return to the annotations page. We do a first action there, like for example clicking on a token. And all the recommendations should pop up, so that we just need to accept them if they are correct, by clicking on them. And can so start a more easy and efficient annotation process. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos on Inception on our channel. Please hit the subscribe button to receive updates when we publish new videos introducing new exciting functionalities, use cases, news or other updates.